everybody i've already started this video but then i i'm i don't know why i just i don't like how anything's looking today but this is this is we're just rolling with it okay <laughs> this, this is what we're gonna go with so today as you've seen by the title we're going to be talking about all the books that i hope to read this spring we have a, a decent list that we got going on here but i'm gonna preface this by saying i say this in like all my tbr videos but the tbr is really just like an idea of books that i want to read i don't really hold myself um too strongly to the tbr and like making sure it's like i absolutely have to read these because i like to just know a little bit like a few books that like you know like i'm feeling the vibes <laughs> that is what we got going on i feel like spring is like the perfect time for like cozy fantasies feel good books but then again i read fantasy every season so that's not really saying much i only have like two contemporaries on here the rest are like fantasy-esque books i guess we'll talk about the fantasies first and then we'll talk about like the two <laughs> contemporaries that i have so the first one this one isn't really like a feel good cozy fantasy <laughs> because that is The Burning God by R.F. Kuang. If you know the series, you know that these really aren't feel-good books because they are very heavily centered around war and R.F. Kuang does not shy away from things that happen during wars. So this one, I'm really scared to get to. I haven't even finished The Dragon Republic yet, but I know that I wanted to just continue the series immediately after. So I am really scared for this one. I've heard a lot of people say that this one makes them sob their eyes out. And you know, I, I do love a good cry, but I don't think I'm ready for the extent that this cry is going to give me. Like, I don't think I want to cry to that level. <laughs> so i'm a little bit scared next we have a kind of this one is actually i feel like this one's actually going to be cozy and it's going to kind of balance out the scariness that the burning god is going to give me that is the fellowship of the ring by J.R.R. tolkien this is the first book in the lord of the rings series i love the lord of the rings movies i've only watched them once which is really surprising to me i don't know how it's only been like a one-time watch through of all of them i've been really feeling the vibes of lord of the rings recently and i want to read the books i did start reading the hobbit i think december of 2022 i want to say never finished it but i really liked what i read obviously lord of the rings is like a beloved fantasy series and it's like a staple fantasy series and the fact that i haven't read it yet is just it's very sad so i'm really excited to get to this i honestly don't really know how to describe the lord of the rings <laughs> because i don't really remember too much about them I just remember really loving it and it's just it's good <laughs> Legolas and Aragorn are loves of my lives I do have it on hold on Libby I just keep de like delaying the delivery because I've been in the middle of so many books but I feel like this is going to be one of the first ones that I get to in spring because I feel like this just has perfect spring vibes like it's a cozy adventure story you couldn't ask for anything better <laughs> oh yeah and another reason why I'm feeling motivated to pick up Lord of the Rings is because they're going to be re-releasing the movies in theaters like the extended cuts of the movies and like I'm really excited for those. Those are kind of like in preparation of that. I don't know what the timeline is going to look like for like reading the book compared to like seeing it in theaters, but I'm really excited for that and it's going to be a great experience. I'm groveling for Dev to go with me to see them because he's never seen them and like seeing them on the big screen is just going to hit different. It's going to be so good, but it is like four hours each movie. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes, but I'm so excited. Like it's just going to be so good. I read another book by this author recently and I absolutely adored every single thing about it like i loved it so much i also really appreciate <laughs> i just opened the book but i really appreciate how this author she always puts like the trigger warnings in the author's note and i love that and it shows like things that are like oh wow <laughs> what a great author i love st gibson and education and malice this is actually a new release and this is on my 23 wait no my 24 to read in 2024 as well as the burning god is also on that list so this one is a new release i believe this came out last month like at the end of last month i'm going to be getting to this one really soon because i'm so excited for it i honestly don't really remember too much about the premise but i think it's sapphic and i think i'm pretty sure there's vampires in here as well there's something there's something magical going on and i think it might be in like an academia setting but i put these books on my list i know what they are but then when it comes to actually telling you what they are about i have no clue like it just completely flies out of my mind like i know that i want to read it and that like it'll be something i enjoy but like the premise couldn't tell you until after I read it but this one I'm really excited to get to this cover is stunning and I'm just so excited to read more of S.D. Gibson because I loved A Dowry of Blood that is like one of my top favorite books of the year and a favorite all time now I don't know if the vibes fit spring or like fall better but if I'm in the mood to read it now I'm gonna read it now <laughs> I don't want to wait until it's fall and then not get to it the next one I actually have started reading this book before I think in 2022 or early 2023 because i remember i was reading it on the plane <laughs> i kind of got bored of it and stopped reading it but i feel like this is the perfect season to continue it and to read it and i actually have the audiobook which is narrated by rebecca solaire which is britney's favorite narrator and that is 
Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I am really excited to get to this. I have read the first book in the Caraval series, but I haven't continued from there. But eventually I want to. But this one I've heard so many good things about. I feel like you're supposed to read the Caraval books before this, but it doesn't really spoil too much about it. Like, you, I know you see characters, like the Caraval characters in this book from the other one, but I don't know if like the events that happen in those ones are spoiled or if it's just kind of like a glimpse into what happens. So I don't really know if I, if it's- All right, sorry if the angle changed. We had a phone call. <laughs> As I was saying, um, I don't really know if like, like it's going to be bad for me to read this before like I finish the series but like honestly I'm willing to take that risk <laughs> it's a risk I'm willing to take this next one I'm really excited for I've talked about it a little bit on my channel before um oh my god the chapter headings <laughs> a sleigh look at that but I talked about it before we watched Vikings really enjoyed that um and I've just been wanting to get more Viking content I did read I did start reading Vinland Saga which I need to continue A Fate Inked in Blood and I saw this on Catherine Karras's channel and she was talking about how this is like Vikings she mentioned like the name Bjorn and like fjords and all that stuff and I was like oh <laughs> this has Viking vibes and based on like the chapter headings like that's definitely Viking vibes I don't know anything about this book other than <laughs> like that and I've seen like physical copies of it and like it has these really stunning like sparkly blue sprayed edges and I just think that this will be a really fun time. Literally know nothing about it, but I've seen a lot of people talking about it. Um, and I feel like it will be a book that I enjoy. So I do have this on hold on Libby and it will be coming in during the spring season. So this one is another one that I'm very much looking forward to. The next one is also a new release that I'm really excited for and I don't remember much about it. Tempest of Tea. And this one just seems like a very like fun book. I love the colored cover. It's just stunning. I'll put it over this one. <laughs> it's really pretty um and i've just seen this all over instagram i've seen so many people talking about it and it just seems like a really fun book and i'm pretty sure it's kind of like a historical fiction just based off the vibes i'm getting on the cover but i feel like whatever i'm given i'm gonna really enjoy there's like little like buildings within here so that's why i'm getting like historical fantasy i don't know <laughs> what vibes i'm gonna be getting with this book but i've heard so many good things about this and like the author's previous books i feel like this one i wouldn't really classify as fantasy because it's kind of more just like a paranormal <laughs> but you might be able to guess what that is just based on what i've said about it and that is the soul screamer series i don't really know how many more books i'm going to be reading this spring i'm about to be reading this with Brittany and Peyton, and our goal is to read one book a week so far we're kind of behind we're supposed to be on book three and me and Peyton are still on book two which is which is okay Brittany is just like lightning mcqueen when she reads she reads so fast so these ones i will be continuing more in the spring season and i don't there's seven books so i don't know if we'll be finishing it this spring i'm having such a good time with it so far and i I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I am. We have one more fantasy one, which I am so, so excited to get to this one. And I feel like spring is gonna be like the perfect time for it because of like what happens in these books, like the, the atmosphere and the vibes, the Raven Boys. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be reading the whole series or like just starting it. I love the Raven Boys so much. I am really scared <laughs> to read it. I've talked about it so many times, so I'm not gonna talk about like my relationship and like my reading cycle with the Raven cycle because it's just, it's a mess but i have read the first two books but it is my goal this year to read the whole series and complete it i'm planning on doing like a whole designated R raven boys reading vlog so be on the lookout for that because i feel like that will be fun don't know when it's going to be coming out because i'm planning on reading the whole series in that vlog but i'm really excited for this one i honestly don't really know how to like pitch this book or like how to describe it to you because i honestly don't understand what i'm reading when i'm reading it i just know that i'm having a good time and i love these characters all i really know is like magic stuff ley lines blue she is destined to kill her first the perf the first person she kisses and then there's also some dead welsh king and like i don't really know how to like <laughs> like give you this book um it's just fun call has arrived hi and another one that i just added to my list impromptuly imprompt impromptly is that the is that the right wording <laughs> i just impulsively we'll say impulsively added to my list and that's strange the dreamer because i feel like that one is going to be perfect <laughs> for the spring and i i missed that book Brittany mentioned it to me and i was like oh <laughs> I kind of really love that book so i'll probably be reading that this spring as well because i just i feel like i need the vibes but moving on to contemporaries i do have two more the first one is seven percent of roe devereaux this is the by season books march pick and i'm honestly really excited to read this book i, I don't know what this is about Brittany loved this book this was one of her top favorite books of 2023 and i it just seems like a fun time and i'm pretty sure there's really good anxiety rep in here and i feel like i'm just gonna love it I feel like it's gonna be fantastic. Then another one, I don't really have a cover to hold up because I don't know which one it's going to be, but I really wanna read something by Emily Henry. Like I'm feeling Emily Henry vibes and I feel like spring and summer are the perfect Emily Henry months. Wait, no, seasons. I'm kind of leaning towards um Happy Place, maybe. Um, I don't know when her new book is coming out, but the cover is so pretty. But I just know that this spring, I want to read something Emily Henry. <laughs> that is about basically it for my spring TBR. I'm really excited for all of these books, but I'm really, this one is the one that I am most scared for because I know it's gonna like rip my soul out of my body and shred it into a million pieces. <laughs> Not excited about that. 
I think the mail's here. Let me know what you guys have planned to read this spring. I feel like I have like a good list, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have read any of these books or if you plan to read any of these books. I would love to know. If you've made it to this point, I love you so much. Comment down below a tulip emoji because it's spring and tulips are the best flower. I don't make the rules. All of my socials will be linked in the description as always, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.